Hey everybody, all right, it's Ms. Rocky Hughes here, back doing another book review. So today, I'm gonna do a quick book review on an independent book that I got to read because I uh, partner with and do book reviews now for Discover Ritzy. The link will be below if you wanna check it out. I'll be doing more independent book reviews over there. Um, however, I did wanna come and give you a review here as well. So the book is titled Coriander's Light and it's by MJ Vaughn. So Coriander's Light is a young adult novel um, with a bit of sci-fi. So the storyline is essentially that there's a young woman by the name of Coriander. It takes place in Chicago, Illinois. Well, part of it takes place in Chicago, Illinois. And she has this necklace. And this necklace is a stone. And the stone is really the only thing that she recalls. Or the stone is really the only thing she's ever received from her mother who she's never really met. She has no real recollection or memories of her, but she has this stone, this unique stone. No one else has it. She can't find it anywhere. She's reached out to jury makers. She's reached out to scientists. She's reached out to tons of individuals to try to find out more about the stone because she wants to know her mother. Essentially, she's hoping that the stone will lead her to her mother. So her and a friend end up making jury design after the stone. So in the hopes that someone will know where the stone's from, and again, leaders her mother, right? So fast forward, she gets an email from someone who was like, hey, I'm really intrigued in that stone, tell me more. She responds back, the person responds again, and the person ends up showing her via email a picture of stones that are like identical. So she's like obviously losing it because the this may lead her to her mother. Let's just say that meeting this individual and the journey that it takes her on is not what she anticipated at all this individual ends up being from another planet and she ends up going with this person to that planet there's this whole civil war taking place for power there's this whole civil dispute the daughter is displeased with her father because someone very near and dear to her died and she feels like the council could have done things differently so this leads to a big like war for power really coming from a place of like sadness um that isn't fully unpacked right but all this to say coriander's there so she's going through this whole epic battle with them her and an individual in the family love this individual ends up being of a royal bloodline come to find out down the line coriander herself is of a royal bloodline because on this alternate planet those stones um, are used there to like give energy and take energy away and her mother is from one of the planets there so she doesn't meet her mother she ends up meeting the aunt we don't know what's happened to her mother um, that is yet to be revealed but by meeting her aunt she does have a memory of her mother essentially that's it it's an epic journal it's an epic journey to find her mother through these stones. The stones end up being supernatural. She ends up going to another planet and there's an epic battle and she falls in love. But mind you, you're a teenager and there's this conundrum because you are on another planet. So what do you do with that? She does end up finding her mother. She does find family members. She finds out more about herself that she is half from this planet, half from Earth. So that's the journey. But it ends up at the end, it turns out that this book isn't going to be a one-off. It's going to be a series based on the ending. So while I was reading the book, like you'll see on the review that I wrote, link below, I thought that it had all of the components of, of what should make a like, sci-fi novel, a young adult sci-fi novel epic, right? It had the otherworldly components. There was a romance. There is a journey. There's an epic battle. There's self-discovery. There's all of the components that you would think would be included. However, my biggest frustration is that I feel like the book falls somewhere between something out of the MCU and Children of Blood and Bone. And what I mean by saying that is it didn't feel unique enough. Like I felt like I had read it before. Um, and maybe if I didn't have the background that I do or I don't read as much as I do then maybe it would have felt more unique for me however like I said this is an independent author this is really their first book first time published um and 
when I see something like that, I'm always, especially because this is a series, I'm always hopeful to see the progression and the growth of the author in the storyline. So with that being said, there were things that I would have liked to see more of. I would like to know more about the stones. I would like to know more about the magic. I would like to know more about what people can actually do. Like, I feel like there are certain details that were focused on, like, what you were seeing or what someone may have been feeling. And I wanted to know the pieces that made it supernatural. Like, I wanted to be transported into another world. And I feel like I wasn't really, that didn't really happen here. And that's my biggest qualm with the book. But like I said, this is someone who is really just starting out, who has created this epic tale. I would like to see it bloom into an epic world, right? Somewhere where you can really see yourself within the characters, where you can really envision it, where you're just so swept away. And I think that maybe that will come. Um, I just don't think it's there yet. However, I'm very excited to see where it'll go. So I gave it three stars. And for me, that's a C. I would probably give this a C plus um just because it's the first time out really and i think that all of the necessary pieces were there i would just like to see them fleshed out more and more developed so whether or not i think you should read it absolutely check it out um i don't think it hurts at all i think some other reviews of it have been really good so some of you may enjoy it a lot more than i did um and it wasn't horrible by any means I just like to, when I'm in a book, I like to be so engrossed in a story to captivate me in such a way that I cannot, like it pains me to know that it's ending or to put it down and that just didn't happen for me here. But like I said, I think the story is interesting. I think it has some unique components. There were moments when I smiled. So I definitely think this has great potential and I would like to see both the story and the author grow and bloom and i'm very excited to see what the future holds for mj ron and coriander um so yeah that's what i have to say about this um again my review is linked below you can head over there and check it out you can also give me uh provide tips there if you like the reviews that i provide um so yeah that's what i wanted to say and again their book on sufism is still coming um that'll still be the next physical book that I'll review. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm good. I hope y'all are good. Happy October. I'm very excited. Fall weather means cute boots and nice fashion comes out. So until next time, as always, remember to give time time and to have the best day of your life on purpose.